So, now model based RL is going to be very simple right it is exactly how it was uh, in uh, model based uh, policy evaluation. The idea is that you have some initial model m naught this is my m d p right. So, I have some transition function initially it could be uniform or whatever I have some reward function and then I will be looping as follows. So, I do value iteration or policy iteration on m i that gives me policy pi i then I execute pi i to generate more data now I generate more data. So, I learn a better model m i plus 1 and I repeat everybody ok with the formulation the model based RL version right because I need to estimate transition and reward if I take all the random actions forever to estimate transition and reward then I will never move to actually optimizing the reward right. I also have to optimize the reward because I want to live my life and you know live it happily not just uh, computing transitions and rewards. So, I will do it iteratively I will use the current knowledge to get the be next better policy run the policy to optimize some reward and get more data and then repeat. So, that I can uh, get a better model and then a better policy and this sort of goes on. Now, can you figure out a problem with this setting? What is the technical problem? What is the technical problem with this way of defining the world? What is the name? Ashray says exploration is very less. Now, you are using a word that we have not yet defined. So, can you say in simpler words what is exploration? I am not going through all the possible transitions, right. And that may hurt where that may hurt in learning the better model ok. So, let us look at an example maybe that gets clearer there say the world is determined say there is no wind whatsoever. Let us say there are two exit states 100 and minus 2, but the model does not know it. Let us say this is my initial policy. So, let us say the agent for whatever reason has figured out that there is a path and every action costs minus 1. Huh? So, let us say the act agent has figured out a path that it should first go down and then go right and stop after receiving a reward of minus 2. And let us say this is the only thing that the agent has discovered so far ok. So, it feels that v of a 1 is minus 1 plus 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 minus 2. So, that is minus 7. So, it feels like the world is composed of a long term reward of minus 7 by if I go down go right I will get this minus 2 I will stop that is my life ok. So, let us say this is the uh, policy I start with and now I run it. Now, when I run it let us say the world is deterministic what will happen? Will I ever even try the right action at a1? I am not even going to try the right action. I might not even discover any of these 5, 6 states I would never discover this high reward of plus 100 because I never tried to go there. The algorithm says execute pi i and if my pi i is this there is just no way I am going to get to these question mark states or this plus 100 reward. So, therefore, the agent will never learn the optimal policy because it would not even have information about some of the states or for that matter some of the state action pairs. So, the key challenge is that just executing pi i is not enough because it may miss important regions where pi i does not take me. We need to as Ashra said explore new regions and the current way of defining it has not solved this problem ok. We will come back to this question after we do uh, the next algorithm. So, we will talk about exploration versus exploitation in a few minutes right. So, let us first take the model free leap and say that we want to go from model based uh, to model free and like we had T D learning what is the equivalent of T D learning for this general version where I do not know a policy. Now, the first thing is to write down the set of Bellman equations and the set of Bellman equations are very simple. 
V star of s is max over a sum over s prime T s a s prime of the long term reward estimated as R s a s prime plus gamma V star s prime. These are the Bellman equations. Now, is this Bellman equation easily converted to a convertible to a T d like update? Easily. What do we need for a T d like update? We need the total right hand side to be an ok this is something I want you to answer we have been doing this for a while. What is what have we learnt to compute by taking samples expectation. Why did T d learning work? Because the right hand side was an expectation come on you can do this right. So, let me remind you what T d learning was. The reason T d learning worked is because my equation the right hand side was an expectation see sum over s prime T s a s prime times something. This is expectation with the probability distribution T does it make sense right this is an expectation. Unfortunately, in this equation V star is this an expectation? this is not an expectation. We want right hand side to be an expectation, but what we are getting is max over a something. So, we cannot convert it into a sampling based algorithm easily. What do we do? This is a big question. Any guesses? Now, this will require some insightful thinking we want expectation on the right at the same time we want to learn the uh, the true value of every state. What can we do? Yes, Divyanshu. Sorry, so you said uh, do some local no, 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 but what are we maintaining? We are maintaining V star we cannot take that as an average of a samples we want to compute expectation as an average of a sample that is the only thing you want to do that, that nothing more to it. I, I told you that is the rule in this lecture we have to somehow convert this equation into an expectation yes Purva. So, Purva says something very interesting instead of maintaining V star of s let us maintain Q star s comma a. Let us see if that is going to work for us. So, this is V star of s max over a sum over s prime. If we have to write the equation for Q star s comma a what would that be? everything without the max everything without the max that is it. So, first of all the first observation that Purva has is that it is ok let us not compute V star let us compute Q star Q star is an expectation by definition. However, there is still one challenge what is the challenge? In the right hand side we do not have Q star we have V star this is not a well defined set of equations can we do something about it now this is the simplest step. Can we somehow write V star in terms of Q star summation over all actions max over all actions Q star of S prime A prime. So, now let us look at this equation is this an expectation? Also does it solve our problem? What was our problem? We need to know what is the right action to do in which state? What is the value of a state? Can we compute the value of state if we are given q values? Yes. So, this is good. So, instead of value iteration we can do what we can call let us say q value iteration instead of maintaining the v star function we maintain the q star function and similarly instead of doing T d learning we can do Q learning ok. 
So, that is directly learn q star values receive a sample. So, what is my sample? I am in state s, I take an action a, I get to state s prime, I get an immediate reward r, this is my sample. My old estimate was q s a, my new estimate value will be r plus gamma times max a prime q s prime a prime, see here this becomes my new estimate. And now, I nudge the estimates, the old estimates in the direction of the new estimate, which basically means the new value of QSA is the old value of QSA plus the learning rate times the new sample minus the old value and the new sample is R plus gamma max A prime Q of S prime A prime or equivalently 1 minus alpha and alpha versions. So, that is the equivalent. This is it, this is Q, it is Q learning, it is very simple now having built up the technical know how. So, in practice what happens is that you initialize all the q values somehow let us say 0 or whatever and then you repeat forever. So, you, you check where are you, you are in the state s. You choose some action a, you choose some action a, you execute it in the real world. So, what does the real world give you? The real world tells you what is the state s prime you reached, what is the immediate reward you achieved and then you make one update, you update the value of QSA using this particular equation. And this is called an off policy learning algorithm, off policy learning algorithm means that the action A that I take here instead S prime has nothing to do with how I change the value of S comma A. I change the value using the max over a prime, but I do not have to take a prime instead s prime, I can take any action. The learning happens off policy, policy says take a specific a prime instead s prime, the learning does max over a prime anyway, so it does not care ok. Then the algorithm converges to optimal values irrespective of how you initialize, irrespective of what action you choose in a state, this is very interesting irrespective of your learning rate as long as some constraints are satisfied. So, this is where I am going to tell you what kind of alphas are allowed. So, first of all state actions need to be finite, rewards need to be bounded just to make sure that we are not working with infiniteness somewhere. Second, no essay is starved, this is the kind of thing that we have been talking about in other algorithms as well. If you do not execute s comma a often enough then you would not know their value and if you do not know its value it could be the optimal the algorithm will not converge. So, basically we say that in infinite steps each s comma a pair will be uh, uh, backed up infinite times, will be visited infinite times ok. And secondly you do not only need 1 by n, you can do any alpha as long as it follows the following principle. So, alpha s a i means that ith time you visit you take action a in state s the learning rate sum over i it should sum to infinity. So, 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by up to infinity is infinity right. So, therefore, it should be unbounded the sum over learning rates over the various time steps should be unbounded, but the sum of square of learning rates over infinite times should be bounded like 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 4 square that is bounded. So, if some learning rate alpha uh, i satisfies these two principles then this particular q learning algorithm is guaranteed to converge to the true values ok. So, I am going to stop here for today, but just to tell you where we are going I have just discussed the q learning algorithm in the next class I will quickly remind you what is the q learning algorithm, but then we will talk about the one thing that we have not talked about. What is the thing that we have not talked about in this algorithm? What is the missing step here? Yes? Why? Why is max not known? You are maintaining the values of q, you are maintaining the q table. So, you can just do max over a prime q s prime a prime. What is not given to us? how to choose the action. See this is this is the step which we have not described so far, how to choose? We do not know, choose some action, which action? This is what we are going to talk about first, then we will talk about generalization which will lead us towards function approximation which will lead us towards deep learning which will be topic of the next week. So, I will stop here.